Hey, happy Sunday. Um, today I did a wash and go. So what you're looking at is my hair is soaking wet. I just got finished um, styling it and putting in putting in my product. Um, so um, I did not use my kinky curly uh, curling custard today because the weather now has broke here in the Midwest and it is going to be like in the late you know high 70s and I think we're supposed to get like a day of 80 degree weather next week so my kinky curly I save for the winter so anyway as my leave-in I use the Kimi tube recipe because if you follow me on Facebook you know that I got a whole bunch of bottles of the not today for really cheap at my local Target so I decided to use it again because I used it once in the past and I did not like it because it felt gritty. And I think it was because I used organic aloe vera gel. Um, not like the fruit of the earth gel, the for real organic aloe vera gel that you have to put in the refrigerator once you open it up. So I'm thinking maybe that was the reason. I just don't know because when I did it today, it didn't feel gritty, but I did. I fluffed up the dang on recipe again. So I think the recipe calls for two tablespoons of the not today and two tablespoons of olive vera juice, not gel, two teaspoons of castor oil, and two teaspoons of jojoba oil. What I did today was two tablespoons of the not today, two tablespoons of the olive vera juice, two tablespoons of castor oil. And then I, of course, I caught myself after I did the two tablespoons and I did two teaspoons of Jehovah oil. So I mixed it and then I just kind of squirted just a little bit more not today in it. Then I added a little bit more olive vera juice and, and mixed it up. So I really messed up the her recipe and I don't have like those little pH uh, strips to check it, but I assume that it is within the pH levels because I did add a little bit more olive vera juice. And of course, this is what the mix looks like and I'm going to refrigerate the rest of it so to be quite honest it did feel really good um, going on my hair and I had high intentions on making an eco custard today eco sour custard today um, so what I did because my last eco sour custard I made I used the eco argon oil now my favorite egos as you know are the pink and the blue but when I made the first, the first custard I ever made, I used the Argon. So that was my intention was to make the custard because this has a hold of 10, the Eco Pink has a hold of 7, and the Eco Blue has a hold of 5. And I wanted something, I wanted to make the custard with a gel that had a firmer hold. Uh, but I didn't make the custard. So what I did was just use the Kimmy Tube, my version of it because I flucked it up, um, as my leave-in. And then I use the style, the eco as my styler. So my hair is still wet. Um, it does not shrink as much as the uh, kinky curly curly custard because I get the most shrinkage with that. So I haven't did a wash and go with eco styler since my hair has started to grow out and get longer. So I'm just curious on how it's going to look when it dries up. And I'm also curious on how many days I'm going to get uh, because I will be doing the pineapple method. So I will be back to show you my hair when it is almost dry. It does take longer um, for my hair to dry when I use eco styler because the gel is a lot heavier. So I'll be back. Um, so until then, I'll see you in the next installment or the next part. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, I'm back. And this is the results of my Eco Argon and the Kimmy Tube leave-in. And I must say that my hair is extremely, it's soft. It's soft with a hold, if that makes sense. Now, I am curious to find out and see if I'm able to get a multi-day hair, uh, meaning if I can get a week with this uh, combo, because with Kinky Curly uh, Curling Custard, I can get a week of uh, wash and go. I don't, I don't have to do my hair until the next week. So, um, it just feels really good. It is not hard. It's, it's soft to touch. Now my hair is my hair is about 
percent dry and I think I'm going to diffuse it a little bit more uh, before I go to bed but I didn't go anywhere today uh, but yeah it feels really good and before I get like my final I guess thoughts on the leave-in I'm going to use it for the next couple wash and goes I'm going to use the same combo so I'm going to use the argon and the Kimmy too and then I'll just probably post uh, my final thoughts on my Facebook page but if you can just like see my curls and how smooth and shiny they are I mean yeah it it, it feels really good and like I said before I, I messed up the um, the recipe I used two tablespoons of castor oil versus two teaspoons and maybe that's it I don't know uh, next week I'll do the recipe um, exactly I will read and follow all of the, sh the instructions so as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video Oh, and if you have any questions or if you've used the leave-in, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Talk to you later. Bye.